Yeah, we'll give that a try. <laughs> That's a nice little archaic copper rat tail point. So <laughs> we haven't been here two minutes and got a nice little point. I'll put that in the bag. I got my AT Pro and it's not showing any number and it's not showing any depth. I'm just going by the sound, which isn't all that great. But it's told me before that if I do that, there should be some copper down there. But it's either very deep or very small or both. So let's see what we got. I don't think it's a hot rock. Oh, well, <laughs> look at that. This is the. So it was a piece of copper. Archaic. A nice little pointer. Small all. Well, that's our second piece. Well, it's actually our third piece. The second piece was just a little nugget that uh, I thought was going to be a shotgun shell, but it ended up being a little nugget. So that's our third piece for today. And we'll keep going. All right, so this is right where I just found that little all. And I, I should have said, uh, it doesn't matter whether your metal detector shows a number or a depth just dig it because you never know what it's going to be and so we're back here and not two feet away I got another nice signal that's actually giving me an 81 on my AT Pro which tells me it's, it's more than likely copper so we'll see but you know I've been in I've dug fur trade that didn't show any kind of number or nothing and out pops a nice little silver ear bob or something. It just said it was too deep to show a, a number. I didn't hurt them. That's not what I was detecting. Nice little conical point. So this is my third P. 
piece of the day. That's a nice little conical. Probably what, about an inch and a quarter long, inch. So we got a good spot here. We'll keep digging and we're going to dig everything. All right. To give you an idea of the stuff that we crawl through to detect in, a lot of little balsam trees, but underneath this birch, rotten birch log, that's a good signal. Oh, there was. What did I do? in the logs and probably ain't gonna be copper. Yep, nope, just a bullet. I guess I can't always have copper. Just a bullet that struck a tree a long, long time ago. Oh well. Now we're getting a decent signal, but don't always know if it's going to be copper. The last two weren't, they were just bullets. We end up here. One of the other thing that we do when we're out detecting is look for mushrooms. And all we're seeing right now are false morales. Not oh, copper. It's just a that's just a piece of copper. It's got a lot of oxidation on it. But we, uh, this is my third just plain old copper piece. It could have, I don't know, it might have been something at one time. I'll take a closer look at that when I get home, just in case, because it looks like it was pounded. You can see a fold in here. But, okay, so, like I said, one of the things we do when we're out here is look for mushrooms. We're just seeing false morales, but right here is a, a chaga on a birch tree. Now we're going to harvest that. And uh, take it home, let it dry for a few months, and grind it up with some tea. Out of that. I will leave the rest grow. Okay. 